All right, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Abyss. I am at Sagala. Uh, we've got a couple orders in today, one from Dread Records, one from Warhammock Records. Uh, quite a bit of black metal, a couple of thrash bands in here. So yeah, let's uh, get to it and let's see what we got. All right, so the first one to go over, this is Chlor, or spelled like this in case I mess it up. Um, pretty good, uh, decent, um, you know, just basic black metal. This band is out of Denmark. Um, I believe this is the only release from this band. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, the inside of this thing is just nauseating to look at, but I don't know what they were going for there. But, you know, the disc itself, not bad. Um, kind of weird nature art there on the back, but um, it's pretty good. It's kind of a slower, maybe even mid-taste, mid, sorry, mid-paced um, tempo for the, the, the music. Um, you know, pretty basic drums, nothing crazy there. The guitar riffs are a little slower than uh, most of the stuff I listen to, but it's not a bad thing. Um, vocals are pretty solid um, overall um, for $5, definitely worth a pickup. Um, yeah, the one thing that I really did enjoy about this album, the vocals, like I said, and the bass. The bass lines are extremely audible. You can hear it throughout the whole mix, and they have kind of a punky, you know, bass walk type of... Uh, type of thing going on but yeah this is Clore I believe with their self-titled release um, again I got this from Dread Records and it looks like it was put out on Ars Magna Recordings if I said that right uh, yeah worth the check out uh, please head over to Dread and pick this up if you're interested uh, like I said all these CDs from the Dread part of this video were all five bucks a piece so you can't beat that all right, this next one is a Dread Records release. Uh, this is a USBM band out of Minnesota, I believe, and they're pronounced Hole, I believe. Uh, again, there's the spelling just in case. Uh, yeah, um, pretty decent, you know, stereo, almost stereotypical artwork for, you know, a black metal record, you know, you know cold winter woods, you know, negative imagery. I, I'm a big fan of negative in imagery artwork, so it works for me. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a rawish black metal band, like I said. Um, higher pitch vocals than the last band I showed. Um, black Mass Ritual Holocaust is the name of the record. Um, pretty solid stuff. I, re I really enjoyed the guitar riffs on this one more than anything else. Um, just solid stuff all around. Um, actually, the person who plays live for this band, plays the guitars live, is actually a member of this next one I'm going to show. But... Yeah, if you're looking for some just decent, gritty, rawish black metal, um, give Hole, or Hall, however you want to pronounce that, give them a go. Again, can't beat it for five bucks on Dread Records, so why not? Uh, so yeah, let's keep going and see what else we got. All right, so like I said, um, a member of Hole, or Hall, um, who, he only plays with them live, but uh, he is actually one of the members of this band, and that's Atrum Enridus, or Enritus. And this is probably my favorite of the, the Dread Record releases, or sorry, the, the buys I got from Dread Records. Um, this is Progantis in Virago. I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's a really, really good second wavy inspired black metal, but it's got a cleaner, more modern black metal sound to it and the processing. Uh, this is actually of Altar of the Dead Productions. Put this out. But yeah, really good. Uh, really, really crisp, crackling, really good. Uh, I don't know, what am I trying to say? Uh, the guitars, they, they're really clean, but they still hold that dissonant, dirty sound at the same time. The riffs are really catchy. Pretty good drumming. Uh, the vocals on this really blew me away. Um, uh, it's a female vocalist who absolutely shreds on this record. Um, there's not a whole lot of female black metal vocalists that I find enjoyable, but this one is definitely up there with like Dark, dark and Nocturne, Slaughter Call, stuff like that in terms of her vocal style. But man, what a killer record all the way around, female or not. Definitely worth a look at. Again, that's Atrum and Retus. Um, or here in case, once again, I probably said it wrong. But yeah, um, please go. To, I'll probably actually put a link to this one in... in in the description just so you can give it a quick listen but yeah i was really impressed with this i enjoyed it a lot but yeah got a lot more cds here to get through so let's keep rolling 
All right, so this is another Dread Records release. Again, I paid five bucks for this one, so a uh, great deal in my opinion. Uh, this is Sacrificial Massacre. This one's gonna be really hard to see, it's very dark. But um, yeah, <laughs> amazing record. Um, it's Dry Spells and the Serpent Gods, I believe is how you say that. But yeah, good stuff. You can see it's it's got like a Mayan Aztec artwork to it and that translates into some of the the lyrical themes as well very fast heavy aggressive raw black metal out of the united states this is they're out of wisconsin um like i said just fast raw brutal black metal man uh killer stuff um not much uh, there, there are some cool lulls in the music as well so i mean they'll beat the hell out of you for 30 40 seconds and they go, can go into like a a mayan aztec uh, almost um, what am I looking for? Like folk metal, like breakdown, like, you know, different instruments that were used during that time period, things like that. Um, so gives you a nice little break before it brings you back and punches you in the face again. But yeah, Sacrificial Massacre, please check them out. Uh, head over to Dread Records and pick this up if you're interested. It's just really visceral, raw, grimy black metal. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, go check them out. Alright, so this next one is actually a Morbid Records release, and I was really thrilled to find this for, you know, on such a good deal on Dread Records. But uh, yeah, this is a USBM out of Pennsylvania. That's packed. And this is the Dragon Lineage of Satan. This is their 2012 um, debut full length. Um, solid, solid, fast, heavy, dark, pagan, occult, black metal. Um, a lot, a lot of occult themes, satanic themes, obviously. Um, but yeah, it uh, says the dark art for the satanic elite. There across the uh, spine, I guess, that you'd call that. But yeah, just a ridiculously good Morbin Records release. And I actually had this on my list to pick up from Morbin, but these guys had it cheaper, like I said, on their, uh, their uh, I don't know if it's like a weekly $5 sale and they change often or if they just have an overstock. But yeah, Pact is definitely one of the staples of modern USBM, I would say, for me. Uh, just a ridiculous sound. And they actually just released a new record, and I need to pick that up off of Morbin. But yeah, Dragon Lineage of Satan, Pact, Morbin Records, pick it up on Dread for five bucks. Just if you're a fan of any USBM, I think yeah, you definitely need to check these guys out if you have not. Uh, one more record from um, Dread Records, then we'll get into the stuff I picked up from Warmac. So. Bear with me, uh, got some good stuff coming up. All right, so this next one is actually a thrash band with a little bit of like, you know, crossover stuff in it. This is uh, Massive Aggressive. This is the 2009 release from Municipal Waste. Again, found this on Dread Records in their $5 section, so definitely couldn't pass that up. They're one of the few modern thrash bands that I can really get, get behind killer artwork killer music so yeah so if you're a thrash fan and you had to, haven't picked this up maybe jump over there on dread and see if you still got it for five bucks um fairly decent fast shipping so not sure what they would be to you know outside the u.s but good stuff solid solid thrash right there so yeah that's it for the dread record stuff um switching over to warmac records now the first one's gonna be a thrash band the rest is black metal so yeah let's keep rolling all right, so these next few things I'm going to show is from Warhammock Records. I hope I'm saying that right, but uh, I did come with some promo stuff, you know, um, upcoming releases, you know, some promos for War Chaos music, that kind of stuff. I'm assuming they're labels that they partner with. Uh, Warhammock Productions, a little sticker, that's definitely going to go somewhere. Um, this actually goes to one of the releases that I just picked up. That's uh, the Morbid Massacre 7-inch Red EP um, and like I said uh, just advertising a few random random items which I'm definitely gonna go back and check out and I'll tell you what Warhammock Records um, just kind of never really ordered from them before but I've heard of them but I uh, I'm extremely impressed with how fast and how well packaged I mean everything was safe and sound and I had it within a couple of days of you know clicking clicking by so definitely recommend oh you know they also have a pin here with their logo on it so pretty cool. Uh, lots of little little goodies to check out. So, but yeah, this first record. This is uh, another thrash band, in my opinion, probably the best modern thrash band around, and that is Warbringer, with their 2009 release, Walking into Nightmares. 
just a ridiculously good thrash band. Um, you know, if you're looking for bands, you know, I would say Warbringer probably has a lot of a Slayer influence, but I know a lot of people out there don't don't care for Slayer, especially the more modern records. Um, some people can't get behind the vocal style, and then that's fine. And if that's how you are, maybe check out Warbringer. Uh, this record I've since getting it uh, this morning, I've already listened to it three times all the way through. Fantastic, just ridiculously good record. Um, like I said, these guys are out of California here in the states. Um, I want to say they had a different name when they first came out and switched to Warbringer. Um, on Onslaught, yeah. So I need to see if there's anything released for that. But yeah, I definitely plan on picking up new, more Warbringer albums. Um, I know Black Metal Rebellions talk about Warbringer a lot lately as well, and for good reason. You guys really need to check out their albums if you have not. In my opinion. I'm always going to be a big Slayer fan. They're the, they're the band that got me into you know heavier music and extreme metal, but. Man, it's, it's hard to top this Warbringer stuff, and especially this album is definitely my favorite of theirs. And uh, for the price I paid and the awesome customer service, uh, I couldn't beat it off Warhammer Records. So, yeah, let's keep moving along, and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so we switch our, uh, we start our descent back into black metal from Thrash, so what better way than a black Thrash band? Uh, this is, well, it's going to be really hard to see, I apologize, that's a, kind of an odd color. Yeah, this is Black Hammer with Darker Days Will Come. This is a EP from 2012. Um, I believe it's four tracks. Yeah, really good. Really good black and thrash. Um, solid riffs, good drumming. Uh, very good, clear, audible bass line all the way through, which is a plus for thrash in my opinion. Uh, adds a lot of punch to the record. Uh, solid, decent vocals, I would say. Um, yeah, and never heard of this band until I got on War Hammock. They have... They have uh, Uncovered a lot of great underground acts around, and I'm not sure how well known Black Hammer is, but uh, they were new to me, so I decided to go ahead and blind buy it. And yeah, very solid. Um, this will probably go in my stereo as soon as I'm done listening to the Warbringer a couple more times, and I'll probably live on this for a while. But uh, yeah, Darker Days Will Come, excellent uh, Black Thrash. Um, these guys are from France, so I mean, not that that makes it better or worse. I just almost forgot to tell you that. But yeah, Black Hammer, French Black uh, black Thrash. Head over to War Hammock and check these guys out. Alright, so this next one is a black metal band from Spain. Um, this is a War Goat Cult with Proteus Inferno. I believe that's how you say that. Um, killer record. Uh, I was really pleased with this one. Uh, this is their 2016 release. Oh, I'm insert here. Uh, it's limited to 300 copies on CD, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a very, very fast, heavy, you know, pounding drums. You know, pretty good guitar riffs. I enjoyed the the production quality of it. wasn't wasn't terribly raw, but not super polished. So it kind of sits right there in that middle ground, which is to me perfect for black metal. Um, a nice, colorful booklet. Um, like I said, these guys are from Spain. You know, satanic uh, black metal. Um, also like a lot of stuff about war and death, that kind of stuff. So a lot of battles, things like that. But yeah. Um, I have heard of these guys before and I think I have one of their earlier recordings, but yeah. Um, sick record again, I believe it's pronounced, uh, Proteus Inferno. But yeah. Limited edition. Got this for a few bucks off of uh, War Hammock. Definitely going to pick up the rest of their stuff at some point. Um, Man, I'll tell you what, the thing I like about this album the most is the chilling-ass vocals. They're almost ghostly. Um, they're deep, but they're like, got some kind of echo or something going on to where they're just kind of chilling and haunting, and man, it just fits the music perfectly. So if you haven't checked out War Goat Cult, uh, please do. Um, fantastic stuff. Head over to War Hammock Records and give this one a listen. Or I guess give it a buy if you give it a listen and like it. That's, I'm a dumbass. But yeah, we'll get down to the last one here and we'll call this a day. Alright, so we're down to our last one of the video. Uh, this is a South American band from uh, Argentina. And that is Morbid Massacre. Um, with La Gran Romera, I think is how you pronounce that. Here are my notes. I don't know if I wrote it down. Yeah, I usually try to write down the pronunciation. So there it is for those who know how to say it properly. Uh, this is their 7-inch EP, I believe from 2014. 
yeah. Um, pretty good. Uh, solid stuff. Well recorded. Um, not a huge fan of seven inches, but I do pick them up from time to time. Um, it's not, it's like kind of a gatefold slip case type thing. Nothing to like no pouches or anything that it just kind of sits in there. Um, decent stuff, good artwork, and they're kind of like a grimy black and thrash band. It's got like a nice red, black marbled, um, vinyl, uh, pretty plain, but to the point labeling. Let's see, once you get the focus, you can see that red a little better. If you go too fast, it kind of looks pink, but once it focuses, you can kind of see that marble effect. But yeah, really solid stuff. I was kind of blown away. This is a Warhammock release. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying from this distro again. I think maybe my next order is probably going to be from Warhammock Records. Um, I'm really impressed again with just the shipping speed and, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Morbid Massacre, just brutal black death metal from South America. Uh, highly recommend checking them out. Um, also, it came with a patch, which is really cool. Definitely going to throw that on somewhere. Um, solid, good, good quality. It's not an iron-on or anything like that. So, I had to break out the needle thread and really only got room for two or three more patches on the vest. So, that'll definitely be one of them. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found something you liked. Um, please give a thumbs up or a subscription if you dig anything on this channel. Uh, again, I got everything here from Warhammock Records and Dread Records, so please go check those places out if you're looking for something different. Um, I will be getting a package um, later today or tomorrow, I believe, from Sardonic Witchery with some cool stuff in it, and also from my, my friend in Brood and Black from Kentucky. Um, so yeah, that's it, for, that's it for now, guys. Hails and horns. I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll see you soon. It's more of a macabre, not massacred dipshit.